Wow, welcome back to the late night edition of Crypto for Life. And I'm Neil here. I'm just gonna talk about, you know, BitConnect and all the rumors and what I think will happen to BitConnect. Because I've been in this platform for the last two months and my experience is really, really positive. If if 10 is the total rating, I will give it 9.5. And I'm going to tell you guys why. Because recently there is a lot of rumor that says BitConnect is going to perform an access scam because they just launched their new ICO, BitConnect X. And, you know, they'll just cash out after BitConnect X ICO is over and this is just uh, the last gig they pull in order to uh, to get more money you know using their name and brands you know this argument is is kinda is kinda baseless because if you really think about it, this company has really deep pockets. They don't really need to, you know, raise an ICO in order to pay their bills. They have new investors coming in every single day. And, you know, we all know how those platforms work. And as long as more investors are coming in and old investors are putting their money back into the program, there's no way they cannot, you know, there's no way they cannot pay their bills. And also, there's a lot of concern about the DDoS attack they just went through. And, you know, they, they stopped operating for two days straight. And a lot of people freaking out. You know, I think this incident has proven this platform is extremely reliable and trustworthy because you know this platform has went through a lot of attacks it's not just the one it just went through it has been attacked a lot of times in the past and uh, you know every time they come back and they, they not only come back they also pay you on these days that they are offline so you can see they are paying every single day, even if they are being attacked, you know, on their website. So that's why I like BitConnect because any other platform will just simply stop paying if they're gonna, you know, go through maintenance or fix some issue and they will use it as an excuse to not pay you. But if BitConnect really has financial problems and they cannot pay the bill, they wouldn't even need to pretend they have, they just been through a DDoS attack, so they have don't have to pay you. But the truth is that they did pay every investor on time regularly. What whatever happens, so I think this says a lot about a company's reliability, in my opinion. And we can take a look here. It's currently at 31, 31 on the coin market cap, and it's it's been down quite a few. But also, you know, every coin is down. Today is a huge down day for all coins, and we can see the total market cap is at roughly 700 billion. So the market didn't really move recently and we can see all the altcoins money have been pulling out um, either out of the market or go into Bitcoin and a few coins that's up for example Ethereum and NEO right so everything has been, has been pulling back and if we take a look at the BitConnect, it's at 
well, on this website it says 230. I don't know where they get their number, but uh, on their website it says 278. Let's see. Okay, 277. So I guess this price is more accurate because this is the price of the internal exchange. And we're gonna trade using this exchange rate, obviously. Uh, but let's just take a look. We have a market cap of 1.5 billion. And if you pull out the calculator, 1.5 billion divided by uh, 1.5 billion divided by 700 billion. The zero zero point two percent, zero point two percent of the total uh, total market cap. So, and we can see the price here. The price has been fluctuating uh, between three hundred, actually two hundred fifty, yeah. 250 to 400 dollars 430 so it's been fluctuating a lot and you know many people have freak freak out because you know they see the price has been fluctuating instead of going straight up as it usually did but you know what a lot of things have happened and you know a coin price cannot just keep going up it's gonna go through periods of where it's gonna fluctuate and it's gonna go through periods where it's gonna go up oh bitcoin has been down also so yeah overall the market is not doing that well oh there's only yeah the market cap has been down a lot so yeah so i think people will seek more more passive in investments like Bitconnect because you know when everything is going down they cannot get their profits from those coins so they have to figure out some other way to lock in some profits and one way to do that is through a loan so that they will get passive income coming every day and you know what also, if BitConnect, they can, uh, they can re, they can redo their staking program, which is to give more incentives for people to hold their coins. Their coin price will be more stable, and it, it will definitely go up, because all I see on the internet is that people doing loans, but uh, very few people that's you know, really investing in these coins. So if they can, um, you know, figure out a way to market itself and advocate people to stake their coins more, their coin price will be much more stable. But anyway, the reason why I like this platform is because, you know, whether the market going up or down, I'm always getting paid every day at the same time every day so and this is how much I earned this is not referral this is just how much I learned earned and you know it's already close to my initial investment in less than two months so I mean I really thank myself for taking that risk two months ago and uh, that's why I'm able to double my money in such a short period of time and also I have all my BitConnect coin here uh, I'm gonna do another 10,000 loan 
when I have enough coins in my wallet. So, um, yeah, this program has been operating greatly. And their new ICO, I think, yeah, it is a way for them to raise money. That's for sure. Because we all know how ICO, how ICO goes because, you know, it's basically free money. Because it's a company that's raising money from the public. And, you know, for, for their tokens, but their tokens basically takes no takes not much money to make, you know, probably hire a few developers and pay some web fees here and there. But the money they can raise is tremendous. Okay, so there's no way they're gonna exit if they can continue this brand and make more money in the long run, whether it's through BitConnect or through BitConnect X. So that's why I think in the short run, BitConnect is still a very safe investment platform. And it will also be my main focus of all the lending platforms. So yeah, uh, this, this is just my own opinion and uh, this is not uh, financial advice. But I do think, you know, these programs, the longer they stay, the more money they will make, the more benefits they will receive for themselves as well. So there's no way they're going to exit instead of making more money. So that's just my take on it. And uh, I really do appreciate you taking the time to uh, listen to me. And uh, also, if you really do want to check it out, the link is down below. You know, but this is not for everybody. I have to say this, um, because you know, at the end of the day, it's your money, and you have the decision to do whatever you want with it. If you really do have don't have the risk tolerance, then please don't do this. And I do not recommend anybody to just jump into this without doing any research on their own but I do you know recommend people like me who have very high risk tolerance and also you know because if I didn't invest two months ago I wouldn't be able to get this much money so this is like free money and you know it takes money to make money and the higher the reward the higher the risk just like if you put your money into a stock market, it might go down 50% tomorrow. So you still lose your money. I mean, why not put it in something that will generate you more, uh, much more rewards? This is just how I think, think about it. So anyway, thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, post any questions if you have any. Don't forget to, sp uh, to subscribe to my channel because I post regularly every day uh, for all the investment strategies I've been using and uh, all the ways I'm using to generate myself income. So if you do want to make money, please do subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell as well. So you will stay notified because some of those information is time sensitive and you know, all, all these things, the earlier you get into, the better and the safer it is. So please do subscribe to my channel. And this is it for this video. Thanks again for watching and stay, what should I say? Uh, stay positive and let's go get the money.